God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I have a word to share. The Lord is propelling forward in this message. So I yield to Jesus, step into the side, and just letting him speak as it is received. I'm going to start here in Ezekiel chapter 13. And it says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit, and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. I'm going to pause here and that was from verses 1 through 5. By the leading of the Lord, there is something that he is pointing at right now in the spirit and that is many false prophets and then I'll get into how he's looking also at leaders in general who speak and act in his name. There is a disheartening revelation of just how many people are led astray by individuals who are not concerned about your salvation. I'm going to continue in verse 6. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, The Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. It is a little bit scary to see just how many people the Lord is showing me that are not really receiving from God himself. There is a divination that many people have over them and speak things that come out of their own hearts or their own spirits. Um, and the Lord is pushing them to the side. I'm just seeing his hand is pushing them. Wow, um, even though there is a mass amount of people looking the part, the Lord's hand is very clearly separating them from those who are his sheep. And certain people who are in Christ, you will know what that feels like when there is a wall between you and a certain prophetic speaker or a prophetic leader. There's a wall between certain individuals because there is a disconnect and you are not one with these individuals because they are playing the part. And I see in my spirit that the word vanity is nicely written, is very much encouraged. And um, something that God showed me was that sometimes people will speak on things that will enhance your ego or your sense of self and will put people in a puffed up state only to later be deflated by the truth and the word of God. And so this is vanity. These things are not in the Lord. And he's showing me that his finger is exposing these people. There is a wrath coming on, but uh, the Lord is just telling me to hold on right there because this is going to be unraveled in a way that only he uh, is, is withholding to himself. And so we just need to make sure that we look at how we are connected to the people that we are receiving from, specifically based on Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 5. It says, Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. How prepared are you for the day of the Lord? Do you understand that Jesus is returning? And are you receiving that reminder on a daily basis and understanding how to remain blameless, keeping yourself flawless in the eyes of the Lord Jesus, because of his spirit and through his spirit, are you aware that you shall be in Christ? Are you aware that just agreeing that Jesus was and is alive is not enough to save you? Are you aware of that? Do you need help with the scriptures? So I'm just going to leave that there because sometimes we're not addressing these nitty gritty conversations. And of course, we can go look out into places and forget about salvation and the day of the Lord. So I'm going to stop that right there. There. Uh, the Lord gave me a message and I'm just going to read it. This pertains to certain leaders that I am not really aware of, but I'm going to say it. The Lord gave me the word Jesuits and he said, those who have said come are like liars inviting people into my wrath where they think the Lord of heavens awaits is the fire of my wrath. Not once will they be healed or restored as they come bringing offerings to my wrath. 
but they will be consumed. And by my grace, I will extend their time in their delusions, but know that many shall perish. Fools, scoundrels, when will they learn? I will keep these people far back from me. As they have not heard me, I will not hear them. Again, this is a distinction that the Lord is placing between those who are of him and those who are not. I am again not aware of this specific group, but that is what I received in the spirit. Um, the Lord is just pointing people out and these are certain leaders. And so I, I back myself away from this uh, message as I speak it in the name of the Lord and in the fear of the Lord, uh, truly. So um, I thank God for his grace to allow me to even speak this. And I encourage everyone in this hour to continue searching the scriptures and truly seeking God with all of your heart. All of your heart. It is a time of repentance. And that's not something that is only particular to now, but it is more evident that we need to repent. So as sin continues to be exposed and the Lord's holiness is continuously separated from sinfulness, we want to make sure that we're on the right side and make sure that we're drinking from the fountain that give us eternal life. And that is only because of the Lord Jesus and through Jesus. So if anyone is feeding you anything that is not of Jesus, then we want to be careful about that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there. God bless you all and have a great day.